just get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. This is fucking dirt. I don't give a fuck what you nigga, you, you right there. You with a fat ass mom that just walked past and shit. Yeah, you, yeah, your mom is fat as fuck, nigga. You about to talk in my comments. Suck my with your mother's mother's lip, nigga. Okay, YouTube, it's your boy Upper Class, and you're now tuned into the Realist Reaction channel on the tube. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Today it's not gonna be a reaction, it's gonna be a FaceTime interview with my boy Dance Flocks, you feel me? Got my boy in the building, we're gonna show y'all. Now, I mean, we putting on for flat, but you feel me? As much love and shit like that, you feel me? Got my boy in here, you feel me? But like, you told me you had some questions to ask me. We're gonna start it off with the questions first, you feel me? What you had to ask me? You know, we gotta address this, so like, you know, I, I, I be on Facebook and shit, you know, shit, for me, I seen a little post that was circulating, it's like, I guess you posted some shit, but you walking through my hood type shit, you feel me? You gotta let them know where your hood is, you gotta let them know where your hood is. Yeah, they know what's up, nigga, if it's time, B2K type shit, man. Alright. If it's at night time, you know, crickets are screaming loud as day. <laughs> nigga, funny. Like, I wanna know, like, the you know, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if that's a personal issue, but like, just you doing that, we on grown man time. We don't, we don't do that. We don't do the recordings. We don't do it. So we know Look. what's up. We don't do that. Y'all wanna know? Alright, first off, that, that whole video right there, certain man them, we ain't even gonna say niggas' names because we don't wanna get niggas too much clout. Certain man them was on socials talking extra hot. Niggas like, yo, pull up. I'm outside right now. And I'm like, nigga, stay there. I'm coming. <laughs> I pulled up the nigga's hood. I recorded the video and everything, bro. It's crazy because I ain't post the video as soon as I recorded it. Feel me? I kept it on the humble. You feel me? But then niggas started talking spicy. And I'm like, nah, niggas acting like niggas ain't really on this type of timing. And I posted the video. As niggas can see, when I posted that video, the day I posted the video was winter time. You feel me? In the video, I had on no fucking jacket. So that means it was summertime. You feel me? That day I posted the video, it was below 25 degrees. Ain't no way I'm going to be walking out in below 25 degrees and I'm a motherfucking Caribbean nigga. You feel me? It's a dub. You know what I mean? So that's what happened. Niggas were talking hot. They told me to pull up and I slid. You feel me? You know what I mean? Nah, I, 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 came, I came through on foot. It was on foot. You watched the video. Play, you through, say, nigga, it wasn't dead. Ain't nobody was dead. All right, you feel right, me? Match, bro. You feel me? That's just a situation I got to address. Like, uh huh. You know, that's, that's my hood. I can't, I can't let that go down. But like I said, I have respect for you from the bush, but I got respect for your podcast. But I'm saying it should let anybody I got an opinion towards any one of my men's you feel me? Like, yeah. just react to a period, you feel me? Just off your brand so it can branch out to get you. Yeah. See, yeah, nigga, before before we got to this interview, niggas actually spoke. You feel me? Like he shared a post saying, like basically, like long story short, basically I was on some dick riding shit and I'm violating certain folks and all that shit like that. You feel me? And one of my fans sent the video to me in my inbox. I commented under his video and. We end up getting to the talking and shit. The talking went from the from the post to the inbox. He, you feel me, on mature timing. He was moving humble. There wasn't no disrespect. He wasn't disrespecting me in no way like that. You feel me? That's how we come to this interview. You feel me? Because he on the same mindset I'm on. Like, nigga, Flatbush and everybody should be on some together shit. You feel what I'm saying? But look, before we even get into all of that, like, you got any new music coming out and shit like that? Oh, yeah, that's a fact, you know. I got some new shit coming out with um my son Moby Blick. That's gonna be my first project, impossible. I gotta make a statement <laughs> mm -hmm. for the for, for the industry that's going on. You feel me? A lot of shit that's I'm, I'm not liking, but for me it's 2020. I definitely I got some shit with K Tone, Shiggy Gang. I got some shit with Nick Blicky, Splash Brothers. Mm. I got a couple of things. I got a couple of dope tracks I'm about to come out with too. So when put on some shit called Rundown for me, so it, it's gonna get lit. And my son, you know the press he come on, Bills Blicky be on very soon. Mm -hmm. um, for me, fuck a court date, fuck all that adjourned shit. For me, my got a date, so it's about to, it's about to get hacked. Word, word. So when you when you dropping your shit, when you gonna be dropping your shit? Oh yeah, I'm gonna drop. Um, I got a, a mixtape flock and I'm about to drop by a month. In a I'm month? Drop that impossible shit. What's that? You say you gonna drop it in a month? 
not um vlogging on comics. Hopefully, if everything get down, okay, yeah, I'm gonna drop that shit within a month. And next month, I'm gonna drop from the beginning of the month. I'm gonna be dropping if possible. Quick question though, you feel me? Cause the post you shared and shit, it was it was basically about the reaction with two two G's and Fabio Foreign, and you were basically defending two two G's. I me me you feel? Me, but me looking from the outside and shit like that, right? How come you and two two G's ain't put out no project, no work yet? What's going on with that? You defending them? Is he supporting you on that on the same time? I'm gonna say it like this, you feel me? When it comes to like when it comes to that rap game, you feel me? Because a lot of niggas don't know. See, my son Tutu got his own talent, and and when it comes to like all this was, yeah. everybody got their own lane. For me, he had his own lane and he pushed it out. For me, so yeah. he ended up getting his own opportunity. Now, you know, my son is signed to a label and stuff like that, so. It's a lot of shit that he can't do when he be out of mind, out of sight. When you out of, out of mind, out of sight, you feel me? You can't be like, I'm not looking for a handout, you feel me? I'm going to support my man's regardless. I'm going to just look at the motivation he giving me, you feel me? So yeah. as far as like the song-wise, yeah, we going to get on the song together. But I mean like, I mean like... As far as labels go and shit like that, he signed a um, label, but he just did He just did a song with Nick and Nas, you feel me? Nah, I, I know I know how it is for me, but like everybody over their chest, it don't got to be too, too doing the song with that. It's it could be other artists like Nick Blick, like I said, like Morgan Blick, it's other artists. So it's going to happen. For me, it's just probably not when you want it to happen, but it's yeah. going to happen eventually. It happened already. We touched the middle, so like, for me, you know, it, it ain't no whack shit. If we come on that track, we got this Flock and Blicky shit, you feel me? I feel That's you. my man, you feel me? He's so, working, I'm working. I'm trying to get the way he at right now. You feel me? I fake fell off, but I'm back. This one is not playing. Say that, say that, say that. Nice. So, like, not me. Let me know. Let me know. Like, as far as ops and shit, who you want to work with? He said ops. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 let me tell you something, bro. I, a nigga like me, I would never. I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with my ops. It's a respect of it for me. Mm. But like. I'd say this, you feel me? Like, I'm probably gonna say some shit that nobody gonna ever put their pride to the side to say. Like, I like I tell niggas, you feel me? Like, mm. put your pride to the side. Like, in this game, niggas gotta know if you gonna rap or you gonna be in the streets, you feel me? Because you can't do both, for me, yeah. at the same time. A nigga like me, I'm never gonna back off the shit that I gotta do because it's just, like, principle certain shit, you feel me? Yeah. But we all know in the game, we dealing with older people that's got the bag and got their own investments and it's investing their money into you. Millions of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars, hundreds, twenties, fifty, all types of bills for me. Mm -hmm. And you gotta understand if you gonna bring your personal street shit into the business shit that's safety your shit, you feel me? That got your shit going on. So as far as like me doing music with ops, me doing that, like reaching out, that would never happen. But on a music tip, like on a artist tip, if mm. I ever had to do a track with an op, it wouldn't be an op from another neighborhood. That's damn near sure, not that. But name, so name drop, name drop, name drop. I, I'm gonna I'm be real. Right. See, from nice niggas like Eli Frost, he, he, he nice. I ain't gonna lie. I don't, I, I wouldn't see no shit like that with me and Tony. But mm. if I ever had to come down to it, or like in the town from Flatbush. See, that shit type all out of smoke and split more because it's like mm. I listen to niggas music but as far as like me putting my energy saying like yo I want to do this never that to say no dick box I mm -hmm. but I have to say like if niggas want to do a track I have to be like they send an the audio and then I send the audio we coming at each other on the track and just go out as far as the video I don't know Mm. I ain't gonna front. I feel like I feel like as 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 artists and shit like that, niggas need to learn how to put pride to the side. Cause at the end of the day, it's more to it. Everybody got the same goal to be rich and to get money and make it out the hood. At the end of the day, niggas ain't making it out the hood. Niggas keep getting killing each other or getting locked up for trying to put in work on each other. And the thing about it be like stupid ass shit niggas be beefing about, you feel me? The beef usually starts from a nigga that know nothing so about nah, the streets. It don't and be stupid, don't, don't let that shit get it be a lot, yo. Sometimes it be stupid to say now, but... Nine times out of ten it be stupid shit. Stupid at all. That shit was a cause. Mm. I, you hear me? 
I ain't gonna front. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't did time. I didn't did all that shit before. You feel me? And a lot of the shit that I did, nigga, I, I even I, felt like it was stupid. But at the point, I felt like I was doing it for a purpose. But it was stupid at the end of the day. Cause if you look at it, how many niggas, how many niggas that you ride with or ride for was there on that dance floor when you was locked up? I mean, that's how. It, I mean. Nah, it ain't not me, bro. That's real life shit. You feel me? How many niggas is putting money on your books? You know what you putting yourself into. You can't go to jail and be expecting a nigga to feed you. You know what you did. I mean, nah, you see, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not expecting. It's not expecting. You feel me? Because if I'm out here doing certain shit that's beneficial to you, or I'm out here riding, risking my freedom for you. You supposed to you supposed to look out for me some type of way, bro. It's not looking out for nothing. You just supposed that's what you're supposed to do. I mean, some people don't know the difference between looking out and taking care of. Like, yeah. You will not want a nigga to look out with some niggas be in jail looking for a nigga to take care of. You. Like, bro, we yeah. got our own situation. So, I mean, it, it's, yeah, that's it, a it fact. That's a fact. You don't gotta babysit niggas and nothing like that, but you can you can send a few letters. You can send a a, a couple dollars in commissary. And shit like that. Even though you don't want to pay a visit, you can send money, you can send letters, packages. Feel me? When, it, it be, when niggas be outside, when niggas don't do that, bro, it just be because niggas be like. Niggas so, be having I, their own shit. Niggas be focused and be trying to get lit. Feel me? It's like, now nah, we love you. We're going to send out when you got to reach. But sometimes a nigga be going through so much shit of uh, fucking 150 things that you're going through, nigga. And. Nigga, you feel me? Uh, your man's in jail is not like nigga. Niggas got mad niggas in jail. That's a fact. So, nigga, I respect for you, nigga. I rather my man in jail than that, nigga. You feel me? So what you feel? What you feel about the rap beef that's going on right now? Like five year old foreign Wu and folk and Cho and all that shit. What you feel about that shit right now? Like, what's what's your point of view on that whole shit? I mean, I I like I like I like the competition aspect of the shit, but everything else that come with it, you feel me? I just feel like it's frivolous. You, see, you feel me? Black, you see, there was blackballing, blackballing my niggas. Like I, I feel like my niggas is blackballed, but you feel me? Like I said, I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, see how you ask me for yo? Why are you and Tutu not doing the track? But yeah. look, my son is the one that's out there pushing us so we don't get black people. So you gotta understand the nigga grab a job that he's doing. You see, everybody, everybody, everybody somewhat in life gets blackballed. Like, as far as me, especially. Like, when I make reactions to niggas' music, especially y'all niggas' music and shit, everybody comments and say, I'm biased, I hate niggas. Oh, the only reason I'm saying that because I dislike niggas or woo woo. You feel me? That's all for people misconcepting everything I say, you feel me? Like they, they don't they don't they don't have no prior knowledge to me, you feel what I'm saying? They just say, yo, listen, this nigga um MV said this or Breezy said this, so this what it is, because they're fans of those niggas, so they, they gonna jump on the bandwagon, you feel me? So it's like that everybody keep blackballing and shit like that, you feel what I'm saying? But like Mm. Straight like that. Fuck, like, look, look at the freestyle. Like, nigga, you crazy. Like, my son had did that shit and rap two fucking the same shit on two different fucking ones. Like, That's another thing. That's another thing. That's another That's thing. Exactly. Look, niggas is, niggas is saying that that I, I ain't point out the fact that Fabio um, spit that freestyle before. If I did you point it out. If you go to, if you go on motherfucking. Motherfucking any freestyle, nigga, and you motherfucking like, I right, boom, grabbing, grabbing the freestyle contest or everything. You want smack DVD? All them bitches, all them niggas out there, you want freestyle some shit? Alright, 
mm-hmm. and come back to another smash shit at a different spot to different people was niggas is dead and still beat me mm-hmm. and rap the same shit. Yeah. What? Well, we niggas is not gonna recognize that. I seen this. I'm gonna always the fuck up. I'm always not. Hold on, hold on real quick, bro. Hold on real quick, bro. Yo, right, I'm doing a live interview right now and shit, right? I'm doing a live interview right now. Yeah, but yeah, bro. You feel me? Like, I, I see what you're saying. I agree with everything you're saying and shit. You feel me? But at the end of the day, you got to you gotta understand. Everything with music and shit, it comes with fans. It comes with haters. It comes with criticism. It comes with all that shit. And as an artist, you got to be able to deal with all that shit. You feel me? If I was, if I was a nigga that say, yo, I'm going to be mad at everybody that says something towards me that's bad, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. I'm, I'm able to, you feel me, take all the bad shit that niggas say and, 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 and turn it into good. Because, nigga, my, my old channel got terminated. I created a new channel, and this channel is lit right now, you feel me? Every single rapper in the city tuned in right now, you feel me? All the unsound rappers be watching my channel, you feel me? Even niggas want to admit it or not, you feel what I'm saying? And like I would like after this interview, I hope like it open up a door to where other niggas want to come say they point of view and what's going on in the city and how they yeah, feel I'm about certain shit. I, I, let me just clip it up on this interview because I just realized. You see when you said that beginning shit where you said um who I I was doing a song with like that was on Ozzy and Bobby Brown and shit. Mm-hmm. I would never like me is I'm too in tune into the actor to ever involve myself to do a song like it's just so much disrespect behind me for me it's morals and shit for me mm-hmm. when I tell niggas like this for me and like this is not something like, for me and it's mm-hmm. like I not after if I do a song with an op it gotta be an op it's not my main op an op that I don't really give a fuck it's just an op and shit like that for me and mm-hmm. it probably would be some industry shit for me so when I say it it just wouldn't be it wouldn't be like I don't need reaching out type shit, but nigga, mm. y'all niggas want to motherfucking deal what happened when the opposite is on this or that, and then the label tell you like, yo, ah, uh, ah, uh, yo, you got to do a song with such and such, for me? Yeah. They put in the bag, and they tell you like this and that, and you tell them like, no, these niggas is not trying to hear no story about what you got, got going on, they don't give a fuck. They yeah. spend all the blood to take you out of that situation, so you bring that situation back into a conversation with them. Them niggas is not jacking, so what you gonna do now? Is it all plays out, so for me, that's why I yeah. feel like this shit. I mean, I mean, I mean, yo, anything, anything is possible, bro. It's mind over matter. You feel me? It's, it, it take it take a real nigga to be able to put his pride to the side and let everything go, bro. Like 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 you know, when Nipsey right. when Nipsey died, like all them big homies in Cali that came together and linked up. You feel me? Come on, you think niggas niggas really died over that shit? You feel me? But them niggas was able to put that shit to the side and still link up because you feel me? Niggas on real nigga timing, bro. At the end of the day, it's a it's it's it's, it's way more than just this little frivolous street beef, bro. Half nine times out of ten, the only thing niggas do is shoot at each other. Not enough people. A lot of niggas don't even be dying about this shit. You feel me? Now I mean, it do be having people dying, but a lot of niggas don't be. You feel me? Huh? I said, my niggas done die behind this shit, though, so it's morals to the game. But certain niggas just be like, this shit right now, though, this shit was, you feel me? But as mm-hmm. far as, like, music is lit, you feel me? But as far as, like, gang-wise, I just feel like, you know, like, come on. Mm-hmm. I, always, I hear niggas out, we outside, we outside. Niggas is outside, man. Fuck, outside, it's winter time, man. The fuck, I'm talking. <laughs> niggas just flexing, it's so way for the summertime, so it's really outside, so they really count. Yeah. It's the time shit. It's sneaky weather. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. It's like, those fuck niggas is tripping, bro. For me, like, certain niggas be jacking, we outside. Niggas don't really be outside, bro. Yeah. Niggas ain't been outside. That's the funny part. For me, niggas, it just come outside 2016, 17, thinking they are, they can fit in. For mm-hmm. me, I know when they done been in situations that's permanently remembered from 0, 11, 12, 13, 14, 10, 09. Like, yeah, facts. For me, niggas won't stay that. No, I'll tell you this, you know, certain niggas gonna say that you can real recognize, really know what's up. Feel me? Like, see, when we was having the conversation, like I told you, certain niggas that you was around, 
Nigga, we had our little era where niggas wasn't on good terms and niggas was going at it and shit. A lot of niggas that you know that, you feel me, niggas that was really outside can verify it, you feel me? And they know why I want and shit. But it take it take real niggas to be able to say, yo, you know what? Niggas gonna move from from that shit and, and, and do better, you feel me? Because it's a, it's a lot of money now, bro. Nig niggas got the city... To where everybody's looking at us right now, you feel me? Niggas gotta take this shit to the top and fuck all that other shit, you feel me? I ain't saying everybody gotta be best friends and everybody gotta be cool, you feel me? But niggas gotta know how to maneuver and, you know what I mean? It's, it's all about the money at the end of the day, you feel what I'm saying? I know a lot of niggas saying, yo, they mans got clipped and they can't do it and they can't do it. At the end of the day, a lot of niggas that picked up the beef only picked it up over dick riding, you feel what I'm saying? But... We had we had 20 minutes. I ain't trying to make this shit too long and shit because there's a lot of editing and shit. You feel me? But, like, tell... I feel you.